Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today I will show you how to quickly open, clean and assemble again your King Grinder K6. I had this grinder for some time, a really really nice grinder to have. I would recommend to get it. It works nicely for about 100 pounds, that's one of the better grinders. Great for pour overs, it's also very good for espresso. I have few videos about it, I will put some links in the description. The grinder comes in the no-nonsense box. Inside the box, apart from the grinder, you also get a brush, so we will use Use this brush to clean the grinder. Well, let's do it! First we take this away. In the manual days they recommend to put that o-ring around here just to help with the grinding, the workflow and so on. I've been using it without it and it works as well. We have to undo this bit here. As you can see it has been used. There is some mess but not that much. Now to disassemble it you would have to push that bit down. If the grinder is at the zero point, that's my zero by the way, you might not be able to push it down here. So then I would recommend to go to the course uh, settings and suddenly it becomes much much easier. The coarser you go the easier it will be. When you push it in you see you have access to few bits here. The only difficulty here is that little piece of metal here that holds everything together. It might be tricky to get access to that and also it's very easy to lose it. Maybe that's why they give you an extra one here. You can try to remove it with the screwdriver. You can use the knife. You can use scissors. Something that just to get under underneath here, be careful you don't want to lose it and once it's off you can, you see, you can remove everything. Now we can try to remove the burrs, that will be that bearing here. The construction, apart from that bit here, it reminds me of one Z Easy Presso K series. The burrs, as you can see, very very similar to the K series as well. One would say they are almost identical. There might be some small differences. You can reach with this brush all the way in every piece of coffee dust. This brush is too soft to remove that stubborn mess here. This brush kind of useless. I mean good for the dust. You might need to use a harder brush. As you can see not that much mess. Now let's hope I will be able to put it back uh, as it should be. Otherwise that might not be a very helpful video. First thing easy. You put this on top here. You may see it's flat at the bottom and it isn't at the top. That's how you know how to put it. Now you push it inside here. Yeah, just find your way in. Now we put the bearing first. Now we put this bit here. It has that funny shape. So you need to find, you need to match that shape uh, with the shape of the shaft. Just see which side up I'm putting it here. And the reason is that in those grooves here, we will later on put that bit here, but I cannot do it right now. The shaft would push that metal bit away. Okay, so fit it. Okay, almost done. And now that most important and most frustrating part. So you need to find the way for this in there. You may be lucky with the finger. You might need to use the tool. So I just want to push it in. So it looks like we managed to do it. You know it's secure when you do like this, when you shake it, uh, everything stays in. <laughs> so now, we can rotate it, let's say, towards the zero. You see, we reach about the same point as before. Yeah, here we have it, guys. The grinder is assembled, fully functional. It was relatively easy. I don't know if there is a way to calibrate that grinder. If you do, let me know in the comments. If it was helpful for you, definitely click like, consider subscribing to the channel. But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show, and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye!